Black powder is a foundation of all things pyrotechnic. Knowing how to make good black powder is absolutely essential to producing good performing rockets, shells, and other pyrotechnic devices. Black powder is made up of three separate chemicals, potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur. Now we've got a 500 gram badge laid out here that's gonna be a 75, 15, 10 BP. That is typically going to be used to make shell lift, shell break, and pretty quick burning uh, black powder for nozzle as core burn rockets. This is an industry standard. This is what's typically used uh, in all sorts of different pyrotechnic devices. So we've got 75 parts potassium nitrate, 15 parts charcoal, and 10 parts sulfur. Another commonly used ratio when making black powder is going to be a 60, 30, 10 black powder. And that's gonna be commonly used if you're making a core burn rocket with a clay nozzle. Now to make black powder, all we do is weigh out our ingredients, put them into a ball mill, and let that ball mill tumble for about three hours. I'll show you how this works. The most common way to make black powder is to use what's called a ball mill. A ball mill is essentially a heavy duty rock tumbler that we use to pulverize our potassium nitrate, our charcoal, and our sulfur into one homogeneous mixture. And that's accomplished by taking a mill jar like this, filling it up halfway with lead pellets. In the case of these, these are uh, 50 caliber lead balls that come from the local muzzle reloading store. We dump all of our chemicals into our ball mill, seal the whole thing up, let it tumble for about three hours. When that three hour period is up, we're gonna have some pretty potent black powder. So we'll go ahead and add our sulfur. Our potassium nitrate and our charcoal. And generally speaking, when you're making your own black powder, you're going to want the ball mill jar to be about half full of lead media and about a quarter full of your black powder ingredients. Let's go ahead and top off our ball mill jar with our lead media and get it running. Well, our black powder just finished its three hour run in the ball mill. Let's go ahead and empty out our milling jar and see how it turned out. Lots of heavy lead in here. Looks like our BP turned out pretty good. We'll go ahead and screen out all the uh, lead balls and we'll be left with a really fine black powder. Well, we just emptied out our mill jar and we separated out all of our lead media and this is the black powder that is the result of three hours of milling. You'll notice this is baby powder fine. Now, if we wanted to make a rocket with this, we could use it as is, but since it is so fine and dusty, it makes quite a mess. So the best thing to do is to actually dampen and granulate this black powder before we use it. So what we're going to do is use the baggie method. We're going to put our black powder in our baggie and then we're going to add 2% moisture and in this case just water to our black powder. We're going to screen it a few times and then we're actually going to press a rocket while the black powder is still damp. So we'll go ahead and put our BP into a Ziploc bag. already measured out our 2% water and it's not very much but it's enough to help keep the dust down and it also helps to uh, allow the black powder fuel to fully consolidate within the motor tube while we're pressing it. So we've got our 2% moisture in here and what we're going to do is just knead this a little bit to kind of mix that moisture into our BP fuel. This stuff is awfully dusty. All right, go ahead and dump it onto our screen. 
flip our baggie inside out so we can get rid of any of the BP that might have stuck to the walls of our bag. And this is a pretty quick screening process. We'll just do this a half dozen times. And again, I'm just letting the BP fall through the screen. I'm not forcing it, I'm not doing anything at all. And even that little 2% moisture makes a world of difference. So we're gonna go ahead and screen this six times. And again, I'm not putting any effort on forcing this BP through the screen. Just let it fall through on its own. All right, so now our black powder has 2% water added to it. It's been granulated. We're ready to start pressing this into a motor. Now I like my rockets to have a nice white tail when they're up in the air flying, even my black powder motors. So to that end, I've taken 100 grams of the BP that we just dampened and granulated, and I've added 10 grams of 80 mesh titanium sponge to our fuel. Uh, what this will do is this will give us a nice bright white tail while the rocket's up in the air. Now to mix this in, we're just gonna simply diaper it. So lift up corners, a little sheet of craft paper, roll the fuel over itself for a couple minutes, and that will fully mix that titanium into our BP fuel. Now it should be noted that if we're talking about using titanium, you really can't hand ram this stuff. Even though it's black powder, because we have titanium in there, it's not the safest thing in the world to hand ram fuel with titanium in it. So we're going to press this stuff. So I just tumble it over itself a few times until we get that titanium all mixed in.
we go. 10% titanium added to our BP fuel. This will give us a nice white tail while the rocket's flying up in the air.